Hi there. Well, I'm glad to be back with you and I wanted to show you some improvements and to uh, give you a uh, free uh, pattern for a size 10 moccasin. And uh, what I've done is I've measured out uh, the shape of an average foot based on a size 10 that is 10 inches in uh, length and 4 inches in width. Now uh, this pattern will fit plus or minus about a quarter of an inch in length. Uh, so you don't have to be exactly 10 inches in order for this to fit. Uh, so it, it does uh, uh, suit a wider range of feet sizes. Now over the over the years I've collected many different sizes and shapes of feet and there is no such thing as a normal foot. Okay. Everybody's feet are a little bit different. So you don't have to think that your foot is an unusual one because there is no such thing as a normal one. So what I'm going to do is uh, is to draw this size 10 out and what I've done I've got in some graph paper and this is what it looks like and it's a Hillary quarter inch one quarter inch to a one inch or four quarters to a one inch sheet and I've pasted four of them or I've taped four of them together to make it bigger so that it'll fit the size of the moccasin that I'm making. Um, what we're going to do is start off just the same as every other one with our foot measurement and I should just explain a little bit about this grid that you see here. Up in the left hand corner I've started the very first square which on the vertical is alphabets and on the horizontal is numbers. So on the top left hand corner it's square A1 and then it would be B1, C1, D1. You can't see that but you can see it down here. Okay so A, B, C, D and it goes all the way to Z which is uh, uh, Z1. Okay and then it starts at A2 and the next 26 letters are in the 2 section and then there's a couple left over in the D section in the in the 3 section and then the number of the uh, horizontal lines are over here and over here so if I ever mention that uh, go to uh, uh, go to M go to 2 M 37 you should be able to find that but if you make up your own graph paper like this, I will post a photo of this when we're finished. So you will be able to uh, draw out the exact same pattern as what I'm using here. And uh, if you want to, then you can make adjustments to the sizes. But uh, the old, the, the original version one of the of the moccasin pattern has had some a number of changes and I thought it would be a good time to uh, update it. So with that let's get started. We've got the uh, f uh, outline of the foot that we're going to be using and so I'm just going to set it down like so. Okay now with that I'm going to be drawing the outline of the foot. Now I'm just going to take a moment here and adjust the camera just a little bit. Okay, so there's our foot. Let me just check and make sure that we're going to be going 
straight up and down. Okay, something like that. And I'll just put a weight on that. Okay, now the pen that I'm going to be using is a uh, erasable pen and it also comes off with heat but it is a very good pen because you can erase it and with this first drawing of the uh, foot uh, outline we will have to be moving it in order to accomplish what we need to be doing so it is going to be erased so I'm just going to draw the outline Okay, and that is how we get started. The next thing we need to do is to add our toe allowance. Now the toe allowance is the, ends up to be the vertical part of the moccasin. And uh, with, for this moccasin, I've allowed one and five eighths inches. Okay, I'm losing my battery, so I'll, I'll have to change it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, now as I was saying, I've allowed one and five-eighths of an inch for the toe allowance, and with that, uh, I go around the top, starting like this And once we start going inwards, that's when we stop. Okay, and there we've started to go in. Okay, then the next thing we do is to draw a vertical line coming straight down. And we do that on each side. Okay, so now we've got our toe allowance. Now, this is the reason that we left uh, the foot pattern, so that we can uh, erase it. And I'll show you why that is. Because of the outside diameter of our foot is bigger than the inside, our centers are not going to be in the right spot. So what I do is to measure from one side to the other. Okay, I'm looking at about 183 mils or seven and three sixteenths so that's three and a half plus uh, say one sixteenth 
three and a half plus one sixteenth and a little bit more. So if I move our foot right to that spot, it should be just right. Then what I do is I've got a hole punched in here for our center mark. I guess I should have drawn that in while I was drawing. Now I just take something a little pointy and put it through that hole and put it in the center of that mark. Then I take our bottom and adjust it so that the heel is in the middle of our new mark. So you can see how that has been adjusted slightly to the left. And now I'm going to draw a new, uh, a new foot. And now that I'm thinking of it, because this one is permanent, I'm going to draw it with a, a Sharpie. Okay, now we know which one is our proper pattern. Okay. Oh, I'm having trouble with this battery again. I guess these batteries, they aren't very good. Okay, well, I'll change the battery again, and we'll uh, be right back. Okay, so it says we've got a nice new battery in there. Whoops. Now I'm going to erase our old line, and with that, I can just do it with this uh, wood-burning tool. It erases the lines very well. I use this on fabric and, and other things as well. It certainly does good. And also I'm going to just kind of knock the tops of these lines off. Okay, now we've got our, our pattern adjusted over to the left. The next thing that we have to do is to uh, find our center line in our foot here. Okay, so we've got a, a 10 inch foot, so our center is going to be 5. And we can just follow along that line there to get our halfway point. Okay, so that line is at uh, five inches. Okay, now what we are going to uh, do next is to put on uh, some allowance for our seam. Okay, now this part is uh, going to get folded over and glued down uh, so that it uh, gives us some strength along the edge and that it covers up this raw edge uh, of the leather. So with that, we start up at the top again.
Okay, so there's our seam allowance. Now, we're going to jump up to form our uh, ankle. Okay, so we got to get up in the air here. And to do that, we take a 60 degree angle and we can put it on the first line here. Okay, so it's going to run straight up and down here. And we'll take it right out to the edge of the paper. Now this line will uh, depend on uh, the height, going to be dependent on the height of your moccasin. Okay, and then with that we need a half inch allowance here as well. Okay, now we have to flip it over. And then there's our half inch allowance. Now, okay, looks like I don't have it quite in center, but we'll make adjustments for our height later. Okay, now the next thing that needs to be done is we're not going to just jump up like that. We have to transition it into a smooth, uh, a smooth circle. So I used to use something a lot smaller than this. I used to use a, a protractor to make that circle and I found that that didn't allow enough fabric. Like I used to put that in and that didn't allow enough fabric to uh, come up and over top of your foot. By using this that is going to give you lots of fabric that it's not going to uh, interfere with uh, the top of your foot at all. Okay, and the same with this one. So that's actually going to be our cutout mark right there. Now we have to go and uh, determine what our height is going to be. And because we used graph paper here and not our regular sheet of paper, we're a little bit uh, constrained for height. Usually I go up about three, uh, about three inches from the uh, ang from the uh, toe allowance line. But in this case, why don't we just do uh, two and three quarter inches? That's right to the edge of that line. So two and three quarters, go all the way down to the bottom. And two and three quarters, okay. So we know what's right on that line. Then the same thing over here. I find that uh, ladies moccasins are somewhat lower than men's. Okay, two and three quarters. Yes.
see now here's where that heat gun comes in real nice and handy when you make a mistake it's pretty easy to get rid of them sorry for the bouncing okay and then go all the way to the top and the same on this side Okay, uh, now what we need to do is from the center of the uh, from the center of the heel we need to measure to the back. Okay, you can't quite see it but I'll tell you what it is. And it is three and three eighths okay so if we go over here and we go up three and three eighths and put our line there same over here then we should have a line that goes straight across behind the heel and if it doesn't make it so that it is okay that's looking pretty good there so it just touches the back of the heel and we'll draw a line straight across then what we want to do is to measure one inch down uh, in the in version one, I did a calculation here, uh, so it was dependent on the size of the uh, moccasin. And uh, that was a lot of math that could cause a person to uh, make a mistake. And I found that if you add one inch to the bottom, that's going to be lots to uh, give you some room for the ankle. So this ruler is one inch, so you just touch the back like that. We'll go one inch this way. One inch this way. Okay, then we've got our center there. Here's the center of the heel. And we go one inch over. Put a mark and one inch the other way. And then the same thing over here. One inch and one inch. And draw a line straight down. Okay, now we need our protractor okay now for me I've got this little one a bigger one would be nice but you put it right on this bottom right hand corner and then on the bottom left hand corner okay and what I found works best is 15 degrees Okay, so here we're on the zero mark. There's 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and if we put it on 15 degrees, that's going to be just right. And I'll show you how we use that. Okay, 10 degrees, 20, and there's 15 right there. Then you take your ruler, or straight edge, and you touch that corner of the box and you come right up to that line and that's going to be a cut line for your fabric or for your leather ok 
Okay, so there's our cut line. Now, when we go to put the insulation in and the lining, uh, I want you to give yourself about 3 8 of an inch back here for sewing. Okay, so this will kind of be an allowance. If you're going to put uh, insulation, this is where it would end. So insulation. End. And this is just a ballpark measurement. Okay, again, and this is the insulation. Okay, now this one here is 15 degrees. 15 degrees and uh, we have finished the uh, moccasin now. Now what we would do is go and cut it out and uh, we would fold back our hem and glue it down. I found that uh, using a uh, glue stick works very well because uh, uh, glue it down, get some clips to hold it, and it'll be just fine. And then we're going to use this uh, to as a pattern, of course, for our cutout. And this one here is 10 inches. 10 inches width, or length. And 4 inch width. And uh, that's about it. So uh, if you follow the, these lines here, or follow the side square numbers, you should, uh, it should work out just fine for you. When it comes time to uh, cut your, your liner, which I found uh, bridal satin, if you can believe it, get the highest, the thickest possible. Bridal satin is the toughest stuff that you can buy for uh, a liner, for a lining inside of the moccasin. And then whatever you want it to do for the insulation, the thin uh, wool or polyester, whatever. So, I lay, I, what I do is I put the layers on and then I take and I sew around the foot first and then I work my way out from there. Uh, I'll show you that when the time comes though. Uh, I'm just going to end it here and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to set it up to make the toe. Okay, so we've got the basic outline of the pattern and now I'm going to do the toe. Hi there. Okay, well I've done a little bit more here. What I've done is I've cut out the uh, the uh, pattern for the uh, sole and sides of the moccasin. I've added a little bit of documentation here in that you're to fold over and glue down this half inch strip around the top. And uh, that includes going up the sides here. Uh, I didn't draw it in the first uh, the f last time, the first time that I made it, or the first time that I showed it, but this also gets glued down right up to the height of the ankle. Okay, a glue stick works good with that, and our height for our uh, uh, height on the ankles is two and three quarter inches, and this is a virgin two, a version two. And it's for size 10, and it's with my new name of my new uh, company, uh, Canada Worm. Okay, so now we need a top to go with the bottom here. Okay, so I'm going to take our original size 10 uh, foot outline, and I'm going to put it on another piece of... Uh, the same 
uh, drafting paper or graph paper that we used the first time. And I'm going to put it up here. And I'm just going to set it down. And this is going to be a permanent one so it can stay just exactly where it, where it is sitting. I'll put a I'll put a weight on it just to help it stay where it's supposed to. I should have done something a little different here, but it'll work out fine. Okay, so there's our, there's the outline <coughs> for our foot, and here is uh, that uh, half inch seam allowance that we were using previously. Now, what I want to do is, uh, after I put this ruler marks, on the sides and they should go down to about two inches below the heel okay so I'm gonna put that and we'll go down about two inches below the heel and that will be plenty far enough uh, to go up the side or the front of the uh, the height of the uh, moccasin for the moccasin tongue. Okay, and then we'll just measure two inches. And that'll give us, we'll say this line right here. So you'll be able to cut it off at that distance. That's purely, purely arbitrary, and you can make it whatever length you want. Okay, now we take our half inch um, seam allowance. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that the tongue is smaller than the sole of the moccasin. In other words, when we cut the tongue out and we were to lay it on top of the of the moccasin of the sole of the moccasin the tongue has to be uh, narrower uh, width and uh, it'll be longer because it goes up here but we want to start the uh, the uh, the toe in back from the from the uh, sole so what I want you to do is to take your two half inch seam allowance and instead of going on the outside I want you to go, oh, I was going to say about in the middle, and that would be fine. But, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'll get a smaller one, and we'll do it on the inside of the moccasin. Okay, here's a nice small one. Maybe, a, I don't know what it is, a quarter of an inch. Should be just about right then. Okay, so we're going to put this on the inside. And we'll start right on this side over here. And this side. And we'll take our square and we're going to go down that distance now. So this is going to be the actual width of our material. And then we will be adding, yeah, then we'll be adding the half inch uh, seam allowance around on the outside, which will make this in the, which will make it in the middle. Okay, so let me put a few more marks on here. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'll take the half inch and lay it down here. And this is where the moccasin leather will be cut out of. Okay, so this is going to be our cut line. Is this one right on the furthest outside? And it will, once it's cut out, it will then get folded over and uh, that'll make it smaller than the sole. Okay, and this will be our fold line. Okay, uh, if you do have to make some cuts, uh, so that it folds over nicely, that's just fine. That way you're going to have a nice smooth edge. And that will happen all the way around. Okay, so again, this is our cut line. And this, uh, this one here is our fold line. So you can see how we're curved up at the top and then our sides go perfectly straight all the way down to the bottom. I used to make the sides uh, flare out when we came towards the top but that made it difficult uh, for the tongues to fit inside the moccasin uh, sides. So now what it's going, what's going to happen is that this is going to be sitting on top of this and when you stitch up the sides, it's going to be sitting something like, like this. And let's just see if I can pull away a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to stitch up the, the back, stitch up the back, and then the tongue will be sitting in here. And a lot of times if you flare the tongue out, the tongue is going to come up here and is going to be sitting wider than the tops of the moccasins here. Uh, by making it straight, the moccasins can come up nicely and fit inside the top of the uh, ankle. So that's the reason of uh, making it uh, straight and not flaring it out and uh, that's going to give it a nice uh, a nice curve inside here and it works much better than the way that I had it before with the flare on the end. So I'm going to uh, take some pictures which I'll include uh, in the package and you can just use that as your guide for cutting out the material and everything uh, if you wanted to use denim, 
uh, to try it out for a practice. That would be the thing to do. And so I wish you uh, all the best and be sure to uh, give me a, email me if you have any questions. But other than that, Canada Warm is uh, trying to help everybody make some moccasins to keep your feet warm. Okay, you have a good evening and uh, we'll talk to you again later.